Hello everyone, this is Tamadeep Pramana and I am with the Cisco Meraki Switch Product Management Team. Today we will be talking about a very important feature of the Cisco Meraki switches and how we can use it to troubleshoot our network issues. As we all know that network topology diagram is a very important aspect in troubleshooting network issues. We'll get to that in a bit. Before that, let's touch base on how you create a network topology diagram of a continuously scaling network. You would either physically trace down the cable connections if you're on site or rely on CDP LLDP information to know the neighbors. Either ways, this requires manual intervention and is time consuming. How about an automated way of creating the network topology diagram that dynamically updates itself upon any topology change? Yes, Meraki makes that possible. Today, we'll be looking at this powerful network topology tool that can provide a graphic overview of your layer two and layer three topology and how we can use this to troubleshoot our day-to-day -day network issues. Let's go to the Meraki dashboard and navigate to network wide and topology page. Let me remind you that this feature is only available if you have MS switches deployed in the network. This is typically how your layer two topology would look like. Quick introduction to the symbols. The MX will be presented by a square. The rectangles represent the MS switches. The circles are the MR access points. The video icon is the MV camera. And any non-Meraki device in the network will be represented by a diamond symbol. You can hover over the devices to get more information such as the model number, the active ports, and the directly connected clients. You can also hover over the links to get information on additional statistics about the connection. You also have the option to expand and collapse the devices. For instance, you want to collapse the access points and the cameras from your network topology and only limit the view to the switches in the topology. The search bar can be used to trace down specific device while troubleshooting issues. Let me show that to you with an example. For instance, we get a report that a client is not able to get to the internet but can communicate with the local network. How do you find out what devices to look at to troubleshoot the issue? Yes, the topology diagram is going to help you out. As you can see, the Meraki portal provides us enough information as to which switch and port number this client is connected on. Let's click on the topology link and know where exactly the switch resides in the network. As you can see, it, it took us to the layer to topology and is actually performing a search for the MAC address of the switch and is only highlighting the switch in question. Now we can trace down the path that the traffic would take to get to the internet. And this is how we would exactly know what devices to look for while troubleshooting an issue. Moving on to the layer three topology, this provides us an overview of the layer three connectivity of the network. It is uh, having two segments. One is the nodes and the other is the VLANs. You can hover over the nodes to get information regarding the subnet, the subnet IP address and the static routes. By hovering over the VLAN, you can get information such as the VLAN ID, the VLAN subnet and the directly connected clients. In addition to that, nodes with the interfaces on the same subnet will have lines drawn between them. For example, the MX100 and the MS425. I hope this gave you an insight as to how powerful this tool is and how we can use it to troubleshoot our network issues. Here are some key takeaways from the video. Thank you for watching.